Do you have any reaction to the resignation of the Greek Prime Minister and the announcement of snap elections within a few weeks? Does that raise concerns about program implementation and delays? The Commission respects the decision of Prime Minister Tsipras to go to the polls swiftly. For us, this was not a surprise following the repeated phone calls between President Juncker, Prime Minister Tsipras and President Pavlopoulos. We expected it. The Commission considers it important that there is full backing for the stability support program just signed by Greece. Um, most opposition parties actually voted in favour of it in the Greek Parliament last Friday. Broad support and timely delivery of the reforms contained in the programme will be necessary for its success. And for your follow-up, no, we're not concerned about programme implementation. Reforms have been decided by the Greek government and voted on by the parliament. They can be implemented now. This, um, we also have the prior actions that have been voted on. We insisted on these key prior actions before the programme was signed. Regardless of elections, reforms can now be implemented. Following the government's decision and the parliament's vote, there is no need for a new political decision for the reforms to be implemented. And let me uh, also remind you that the next wave of major reforms is expected for October. And obviously, we will monitor implementation very closely. Yeah. Um, are you suggesting that Cyprus told Juncker on the phone quite well in advance that he would be calling new elections? And be um, you're not worried about, you know, given the October review and the kind of importance attached to it and the second disbursement, you're not worried about any delays caused by, you know, elections and the fallout? Firstly, I'm suggesting exactly as I say, that this wasn't a surprise for us following the repeated phone calls and that we expected it. And secondly, the first review, as you say, is foreseen for the autumn. The MOU specifies exactly the number of milestones for the coming months, and the, this will be reviewed then. Sorry, I had Rick first. Sorry, I'll come to you in a second. Um, Annika, to be more precise. Um, on Ian's question, um, did the Commission know about Tsipras' plans um, before or after agreement was reached on the programme? I appreciate that you'll be trying this. I will not move beyond what I've just said. For us, this was not a surprise following the repeated phone calls um, between President Juncker, Prime Minister Tsipras and President Pavlopoulos many of which I have reported on in this, in this um, circle here. We expected it, and I will not go beyond that statement. Can you just tell us when was the last phone call between Juncker and, uh, and Chipras? I can't tell you exactly when the last phone call was, but as you know, our president is in constant co contact with all political actors involved. Any other questions on Greece? Uh, I just had a question about um, uh, 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 Martin Selmayr's tweet yesterday. Um, how do we, just maybe it's more of a, a form question, how do we sort of place that into the communication of the Commission vis-a-vis -vis Greece? It came before the CPRAS's speech. Um, is it part of, is when he tweets, is that sort of an official communication by the Commission or is it purely personal, just if you could help us out in putting his tweets into context. Let me turn your mic off, thank you. Um, the tweets by the head of the President's Cabinet are exactly what they are. They're tweets by the head of the Cabinet and they express his opinion. Obviously there is no, absolutely no reason to believe that his opinion is not the opinion of the President or the Commission. Any other questions on Greece? No, any other topics I can help with? Georgi. Uh, 